Okay, so I've du I've duplicated my model. Um, I've come back to to try and um, split it apart. I wanted um, <coughs> to be able to work on each section individually, and um, because I was rushed uh, to get it made so that I could do the texture assignment and get that out of the way, um, I didn't. Um, spend a lot of time learning masking and this that and the other so that because because i felt that i had to cut it all apart piece by piece so anyway i've just um got in and there's my whole chair um and i was cutting the headrest out uh so if i take everything else off so i was cutting the headrest out and i'd, I'd gone through and um basically chopped it out manually um by uh, let me just undo this so I literally was going through piece by piece by piece going doing this and then when I'd get a bit of the other chair that I didn't want I'd unmask it like that and I was zooming in and it was taking forever so anyway I did this and then once I got it all selected I already had my duplicate I clicked on groups split and it's split my whole model into the groups that I originally started with um, which is fantastic I was I was pretty impressed to be honest um, so that certainly sorts a few things out um, and makes it a lot easier um, so I can carry on and project onto this model this being my low poly now so I'm going to save this as my low poly um, as the export and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour it I'm going to use um, poly paint. I'm going to colour it, and then I'm going to project onto it the um, uh, the high res. Then on the high res, I'm going to colour the section, the other section. So like, there's the cut out in the middle. Um, there's the areas where the stitching is. I'm going to try and do some clever masking techniques and mask out where the stitches are. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I, I'll figure a way of doing it. Um, so just masking out the stitch. The actual stitches, so that I can then colour them um, individually in um, um, in Substance Painter. 